Almost every weekend, there is an onslaught of tourists that come into town. Most of the locals feel kind of held hostage in their own town. Even though most of the jobs pertain to tourism to some degree, and now's a really great time to kind of reevaluate it, right? Um, now's a good time to reevaluate a lot of things. Known for famous art galleries, museums, and big skies, Marfa, Texas is home to 1,800 residents who normally welcome tens of thousands of visitors from around the world. However, when the COVID-19 pandemic came, all that changed. The city shut down fast. Marfa chose to institute a shelter in place right away. Um, so we had sort of like a, a, the ability and the fluidity to have control over the situation to a certain degree. By late April, Marfa had weathered the pandemic with zero cases and wanted it to stay that way. We have an older community. We have one regional hospital that is very small, 27, 29 beds. And last time I heard, it was only two ventilators they had. So getting sick, it's, it's not an option. If somebody was to get sick here, it would go through this town like wildfire. I made the motion that we not open up short-term rentals and hotels until May 15th. And that was, um, you know, we, we had a unanimous vote, uh, yay, on that, on that particular um, issue. And then that was immediately overturned by the state. When the governor came in and did that, I was very angry that he said, you guys make the decisions. It's gonna be on, on the county judges, on the city councils for you all to, to make all the decisions that are best for your people, local control. And then when the heat got too big for him politically, he kind of came in and took the power away from us after the fact. Shortly after the city council's motion was passed, the city was told the extension was unlawful and couldn't proceed. Tourists could come stay in Marfa. The time when I was sitting on my porch and they opened it on Friday, and then Monday a family walked by, and then a couple walked by, and another couple walked by, and I thought, son of a gun, the quarantine is over. Because none of them were wearing masks or anything. As short-term accommodations opened up, local businesses had to balance economic security and the health of their people. Many small business owners decided to stay closed so as not to give tourists more reason to come. We're not opening soon. I can tell you. I mean, we had talked about May, then we've talked about June, and now we're even talking about July. I think it'll be a lot of communication with other business owners and how comfortable do we all feel. I'm hoping people can hold up as long as they can to protect this, this small town. I'm worried that it's, it's going to be back to being overwhelming again. And I say that as a business owner who needs this tourism, but you know, I'm just very cautious and careful for our community. Marfa residents have also been coming together to support local businesses and workers who have lost out during the pandemic or have decided to stay closed for safety reasons. What's great is that, you know, like right away, there was a big fund, everybody throwing money into a pot to distribute widely to people um, who aren't working. And now we have this new bond project, which is pretty cool, which is about supporting restaurants. Some residents say reopening any business puts local workers at the highest risk. Everybody who's working these hotels, um, cleaning the rooms, your servers, your waitresses, your cooks, your bartenders, they're all let, like usually Latino people from Marfa. And I'm really afraid because the people I love most in Marfa are not rich. They are struggling to get by, making less than $30,000 a year, no health insurance. At an emergency meeting in June, the Marfa City Council passed an ordinance requiring businesses to mandate face masks. Any businesses in violation could be slapped with a fine of up to $1,000. This comes as COVID numbers continue to rise in Texas. And Marfa, which had zero confirmed cases in May, now has at least nine. I'm kind of at my wit's end with Texas, honestly. This is kind of, they're just letting us down. They're just we pay our taxes and we're following all these laws and with the idea that they will protect us when something like this will happen and they just are really showing that they don't care. 